installing Brother Printers on an Apple Mac computer. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Brother Printers on an Apple Mac computer. The challenge here is three. First, installing the scanner with multiple printers requires extra steps. Two, installing the printer, multiple printers on the Apple Mac computer takes additional steps. And then three, my brother printers are old. The printer on the left, the CDW, which is a colored printer and scanner, is 10 years old. The printer on the right, the 8860DN, is a black and white monochromatic brother printer scanner and it's 15 years old. So I've already done this on my first Apple Mac computer. I've installed both printers and scanners and they work perfectly. This is my second Apple Mac computer and I'm going to do a similar installation. So I have an Apple iMac with Mac OS High Sierra, High Sierra. I'm installing a Color MFC 9970 CDW on the left and a MFC 8860DN on the right. They both print and scan and also fax. They both work fine. So I'm installing them now on this Apple Mac computer. As I was looking at the setup on this computer, as it turns out in the past, I had already installed the black and white MFC 8860DN. But I need to install the color printer. So it's, there's some additional steps that I discovered I had to perform on my first install. And I'm going to do this here. So at the end of this video, both of these printers should be printing and scanning. So first, let's do the black and white. MFC 8860DN, printer and scanner and also fax. It still works, it scans perfectly, and it, it's, a, it's a reliable, uh, high volume printer. And the toner is inexpensive. No reason to get a new, new device. So the way to, uh, first you have to get the install software package. And the easiest way to do that is to go to Google and type in download brother MFC 8860DN. The first link will take you to the download page of the brother website, brother.com. So here's a printer on the left verifying that this is actually uh, my printer. So on the downloads here, We got select the operating system Mac. And here's one of the issues. So this is Mac High Sierra, which is version 10.13. But if you look at the Brother website, the highest one is the 10.10. .10. Here's one challenge overcome. I just said, hey, let me go ahead and try it. And this was on the other uh, Macintosh, OS X 10.10. .10. So this is High Sierra, select 10.10. .10. Even though High Sierra is 10.13, 13, and this is a 10, you're going to select this one, and it, it will work. And so then uh, in, under step two, at the bottom center of the step two, section is a button that says OK. So we're going to click OK. So then we're going to look at drivers. So drivers, this is the brother.com downloads, drivers, printer driver, and scanner driver. Printer driver, scanner driver. Scanner driver includes the Control Center software.
that tells me that's the control center software is the brother software application that runs the scanner. So I know that I need to have this one. You're going to download both of these. back go back okay printer driver okay printer driver follow steps below to download and then at the bottom of this printer driver page there is a green button that says agree to the EULA and download click that and it's going to start downloading And I downloaded it. It says Brother Printer Drivers Monochrome Laser DMG. DMG. Huh. I see in April, April 24th, 2023, I did this install. Okay. So back in April 24th, 2023, I downloaded both the printer and the scanner drivers. And I installed both. Okay, I can confirm that because the scanner works too. All right, so we download that. Now also, we're going to now do the scanner driver. You got to do both. These are two different drivers. Scanner driver, scanner driver, scrolling down. Look for the green button that says agree to the EULA and download. It's going to download. And in my downloads, it says brother scanners, brother scanner drivers, DMG. And that's today. Today is September 10, 2023. So I'm going to click the Brother Printer Driver. Okay, here we go. Now it's giving me a window that says opening brother printer driver for the monochrome. And if you look in the upper right corner here, you'll see on the screen a little disk icon, rectangular disk icon that says printer driver. Oh. And at the same time, it opens up another window panel with a brown box. So we're going to click that and that will install the driver. Oh, here we go. Brother printer drivers can't be open because it's not downloaded from the App Store. You just click OK. And then you have to go to Security, go to System Preferences. And we're going to do Look for, okay, here we go. In the top row of system preferences, it's security and privacy. So you got notification spotlight and then system security and privacy. Security and privacy is between language and spotlight. So security and privacy. We're going to go down here to the lower left. There's a little lock. Click that. It's going to ask for a pass, your password. And this is the same password to log into your computer unlock so I'm going to unlock it and then if see here it says allow apps download from App Store and identify developers open anyway that will open it okay perfect now we've got the install window continue continue agree and then install I've already done this for the black and white so I'm going to I'll stop here I'm going to eject this one because, again, I already have uh, the Color Brother printer working.
Okay, it is installed. I'm going to print a test page here. So the status uh, says here, printing connected to printer. The light on the print, printer is blinking. Let me, let's try this again. The light on the printer is blinking, but it's not printing. Let's try this again. Oh, it's printing now. I think the printer just needed to warm up. I just turned it on. So to open up the printer queue, what I did was here on, on the right side, Brother MFC 8860D, and right underneath it, it says open print queue, and that opens up the, the status panel. Option, options and supplies. Supply levels are appropriate. Oh, there's a printer utility. This is a, this printer is connected via uh, ethernet. I have an ethernet cable connecting the printer. 
to my router and then I have the router connected to this computer. So I just uh, I just verified that it printed the first page. Let me and there's the light blinking on the printer, light blink blinking on the printer, which shows you that it's processing the second page. So let's give that a few seconds. Okay, I just print out the second page that says hello. So now, let us download the scanner driver. So under downloads, brother scanner driver, You know, what I think is what's slowing things down is that this is an old Apple Macintosh computer and it's having the process, um, I'm running the screen recorder at the same time. So this is the scanner driver. Click the brown box. Agree. And then I'm gonna, we're going to install. Um, it asks for a password. Oh, and it's going to install the software. All right, so yeah, since I already changed my security options, It's not, uh, it's just asking for a password. So what that does is that does the install. So once that happens, what you want to do is you want to go into your applications folder and look in the top row. You have App Store, and right next to it is a folder that says Brother. Inside is an icon for the control center. And I'm going to keep it in the dock. And so what here it is saying that it's seeing my control center, it's seeing the first printer, which is the MFC 8860DN. I'm going to configure it. Let's say to configure it, what you do is you go to configuration.
scan, oh, you got to press down configuration, and then image. So what we're doing here is we're configuring this image button here. Scan, image button. So the target application is the Apple Mac preview application. You can also have it open in Safari, Google Chrome, you can program it. How do you program it? You have to add the application. PDF is going to be the file, and then you can put, do the destination files. Right now it can go into documents. Um, you, can have it, you can have it go to the desktop here. Let's do a test run. Let's do a low resolution. You can also do show settings dialog before scan. So once I have that configured, just go back and then push image. And then that will scan it. So um, let's do a test scan. Okay, that's pretty fast. I hear the scanner going. And it's opening up the file. And this is the scan. Success. This is a color scan. Okay, so now I verified that the brother Uh, monochromatic black and white works. It's, it's already been installed, but that was back in April and September now, and I had, haven't used it since then. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this video into two parts. So this is going to be part one, 